fellas so I am pulling the wheel flares off of my truck after 10 years of those wheel flares being on there I've never pulled them off before so this is gonna be very interesting so I need you guys to stay tuned but before we get started I definitely got to load up the wood in my wood burner because it's freaking cold outside and I use wood to heat my home for most of you guys that follow me you already know that let me show you this is little unit right here the central central wood boiler guys kind of a suspenseful one today I uh, have never taken off my wheel flares on my Duramax before so plastic ones what about you Kyle oh I didn't have them I, I know that those things hold inside them salt yeah so moisture all that Where you know you didn't have them when you bought the truck there it was on the back it was on the bed not on the fenders though so oh I, okay. yeah so I never had them on the fenders it was actually an accident so I had new fenders on it from then. All right, so my story is I bought my truck in, in or around Cleveland. It's actually, there's a small town called Chardon, Ohio. And I bought, that's where I bought the truck initially. The truck is actually, this thing, the owner was a uh, concrete construction owner or whatever. He used this truck to actually work. So, um, yeah, in the winter too in Cleveland, in that, in that area. So they use salt. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen when I pull these things off. So I need you guys to stay tuned. You guys got to watch this, this video start to finish. Uh, hopefully no holes. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully no holes. That's what I'm actually. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm really nervous here. I'm, I don't really know what to expect. But also, you guys can learn something too because I've never pulled these wheel fenders off before. So or wheel flares, whatever the heck you call them, whatever. So we'll see here. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, fellas, let me show you guys where the body clips are. If you attempt this, let me show you where this is at. So you're gonna have these little body pins body clips, whatever you want to call them, which are right here. So basically what I'm going to do, you guys can use like a pull pin um, sort of screwdriver to pull those out, but I'm just going to use a flathead and some pliers. All right, guys, so I got all the clips off. This is the very first time pulling this off. I'm nervous. I think it is. Oh, boy. That was a, uh, it's probably stuck to the paint. It's probably white. Sure is. Oh man. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because there's adhesive underneath it. That's why it's yeah, doing that. Makes that. Sense. Oh. That's horrible. That's why it was sticking. You see that, yeah. guys? You know, guys, listen, I, I don't, the, the thing is, is I, I know what you guys are gonna say when I pull all that off, but I am getting a brand new paint job on the Duramax, so I don't really care. Just as long as there's no dings and dents on the truck, I'm good. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> so this is why I do not have flares on my oh. truck. I mean, it's, you got lucky. There's no bubbles or anything that we can see so far, but right. that all that dirt, through winters, there's gonna be salt, dirt, and all of that getting held under it like this, as you can see, like this is all a dust. And that's all the fender flares do. Guys, yeah, that sucks, it really does. And it looks like I'll be getting a lot of uh, 3M adhesive remover, goo gun, whatever. I may actually just buy that wheel. Okay, leave in the comments if, you sh if, if I should leave the, the, the fender flares, just put them back on, or keep them off. Just leave them in the comments because uh, I'm kind of digging the stance right now with the 20 by 12s, negative 51 offsets. So this might actually look really nice by taking this off. But then again, I've noticed, uh, Kyle, your stance video. Yeah. Yeah. All right, big pain. Yeah, guys, uh, watch Kyle's um, stance video. I'm gonna leave his link of the video right here. Okay, so check that out. But yeah, dude, I've never seen so many rooster tails kick up in the front of my truck before since I've had these these tires 
So, oh, by the way, in the comments, uh, Delante DX9 35 by 12.5 R20s is what I actually have here. They're like El Cheapo China freaking tires that I don't really care about because I'll be getting nicer ones later. Uh, these are just going to get me through the winter, to be honest with you. Um, but they're quiet and they're awesome and they wear really good because most lifted trucks, they're dang uh, alignment. We always have alignment issues with our, with our uh, lifted trucks. So I've never actually had it dead on going down the road. All right, guys, I'm going to quit yapping. We're going to get to all the, I'm going to take them all off right now and I'm going to show you guys. Sound horrible. Yeah, this isn't cool. That adhesive, it just sounds horrible on that paint. Look at that. Oh no. Yep. Outstanding. That is bad. Yep, it looks like I may have to put these wheel flares back on. There's there's no help um, for this for that right there. I I, I don't know. I'm actually a little disappointed, but it's good that I'm doing this, you know? Yeah, start new, start clean. Right. That's another reason right there. Yep, exactly. All right, guys, I got two more to pull off. So, so far the front looks great. Let me show you. Front looks good. But it looks like I'll have some rust repairs here in the future. I'm not gonna leave the truck like that, trust me. It's, it looks hideous, guys, but um, I'm, I'm not gonna leave the truck like that, okay? All right, let's pull this one off. Second one. This this does not look bad. Look at that dirt, isn't that crazy? Look at this corner up here though. Oh yeah. Paint peeling a little bit rough showing. Right. Well yeah, and I knew that right there. I saw the let me show you. I knew man, I'm destroying my truck right now. But it was already destroyed, so yeah, the paint's peeling pretty good. And I already knew that right there. I mean, I, I saw that. I remember I was peeling back right here, and I saw that the paint was pull, pulled up. But um, that's not that big of a deal. I no, can no that. bubbles, no holes. Right, yeah, the, the front quarters look great. So, All right, last but not least. Here it is, more oh, rust. Oh, man. More rust, more rust. Look at that. R.I.P. bad. Yeah, man. Not good. <laughs> I can't even, guys. I can't even church this one up. Uh, this is this is actually kind of embarrassing, but I'm gonna go ahead and post this video on YouTube anyways. So, but yeah, not too happy. Luckily, the front quarters are good. I will be getting to the bed now. Just the bed has. I mean, the thing is, is, the bed doesn't have a bunch of dents on it and stuff. That's that's what sucks. That is a bummer. So, but yep, that the bed is definitely going to be, uh, I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Do you think I can save this? I don't think so. I think it's done. Or should I just buy a new box? Yeah, but the stance in general looks really good. I will be doing a, uh, I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to buy cheap wheel bearings, guys. Uh, Bertrand 850, 850. That dude right there, uh, his truck's pretty sick. JW. I know you guys did wheel spacers on your truck as well. Um, I'm probably gonna go with the bores, but I'm definitely gonna do that up, do that up for the rears, because as you guys can tell, the front sits up a lot further, sits wider than the than the rear end. Got IFS baby. Oh yeah. Independent front suspension. This is hideous. But for now, I'm gonna put my wheel flares back on the truck. Not excited one bit. I kind of wish I never did this. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm a little upset about pulling the wheel flares. I'm gonna go in the house and cry now. <laughs> so, not too happy about it. And also, as you guys can tell, we got white stuff on the ground in Michigan. So, I'm gonna be doing a lot of videoing in my garage, so I gotta get more lighting. So I apologize for that, guys. I know it was a little bit dark in there, but I'm definitely gonna improve on that one. So, uh, got the 07. Uh, you know, Kyle's, 06. Kyle's got the 06. They're both LVZs. Back row diesel. 
uh, just like I, I know I was giving them a shout out with when I did the tree video when I was pulling the tree um, but if you're my subscriber make sure you subscribe to his channel back row diesel as well uh, this dude is just blowing up on YouTube man so show him some love definitely uh, hey guys leave in the comments what you think about my truck uh, good bad I don't care I like to read them anyways and hey I appreciate your time guys subscribe if this is your first time stopping in and thank you guys so much for watching